Hello and welcome to another UK Card Club card review video. Today we're looking at the Venexiana deck. Now this is a deck that's been created by Half Moon Playing Cards. Um, it's a bicycle branded deck that's been produced by the United States Playing Card Company. It's inspired by the mystery, beauty, elegance, forbidden love, crime of period Venice and its traditions. It's also inspired by the, forget me if I pronounce this wrong, uh, Commedia dell'arte, the old Italian improvised theatre. So it's a lot of <coughs> period, it's a very period piece, um, including lots of masks and mystery and elegance. Uh, I I love this deck. I got this deck in a um, I got it in a bundle sale. Um, it was a bunch of cards that someone was getting rid of. It was either on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. I just I didn't know it was in there to be honest I just saw a load of them a few of them I liked the look of so I bought the bundle I can't remember what it cost me 50 60 pounds maybe and there was a large number of cards in there and this happened to be one of them now the Venexiana deck comes in white as you can see here or there is a black version um, I'm hoping to get my hands on the black version eventually but uh, I've got this version so as you can see here you've got the front very nice and very theatrical it looks like you've got the Colosseum of of Rome here and you've got some uh, the a theatre mask there by Half Moon playing cards a little Half Moon symbol 2013 United States playing card company and all the information um, playing Venexiana cards so <laughs> got its own seal which I like I always like a, a deck that's got its own unique seal with a V on it I don't know if you can see that based on the uh, the cutting of the seal and that's the back design that you've got there you got some uh, got a mythic creature there I'm not sure the name if you know the name drop it in the comments uh, it's like a flying lion very cool and uh, yeah I uh, fell in love with the with the, with the deck um, very very nice I got a second hand it was already open when I bought it so I'm hoping the contents were all there but there's something I noticed distinctly from it and uh, we'll find that out as we get inside so you've got all the information there the bicycle association etc and inside I noticed there were no jokers I didn't see any jokers in the deck uh, I didn't see any advertising cards I just saw the 52 cards associated with a normal deck of cards. Or say standard deck of cards, not normal. So here we've got the Ace of Spades. Now, the green and black is just beautiful. Um, it's a theme that's continued throughout as well. If you look at the pips in the corner of the Ace here, it's continued with all of the pips, the whole green and black theme, till you get to the reds. We'll get onto those in a minute. But so it's completely custom faces. There's no um, there's no standard faces in this. Just look at the artwork. Some of the artwork here is absolutely phenomenal. So very mysterious. Maybe a hidden lover. We've got the mask for his anonymity and a, a rose to give to his partner. It's got a very secret yet scheming queen looking lady here. Well, I reserve judgment on this guy, but yeah, it's just the artwork's exquisite, and it's got like the sort of almost comic book style with the with the lines going to the king here, king of hearts, queen of hearts again. It's just all about beauty and mystery, theatre, and just oh, incredible. So this is what. Uh, the red ones look like just like red and green so the greens continue throughout and then the aces they've all got their own very very nice almost I suppose inlay style looks a bit like a finial of a, uh, a period railing or something along those lines yeah we're coming up just oh. Fascinated by them. I've opened this deck many times just to sit and look at the cards. Um, 
Just some of them are so nice. They've got the exquisite, exceptional, beautiful um, United States Playing Card Company air cushion finish, which you kind of grow to expect, I suppose, when you're uh, buying bicycle branded cards. Then all of this sort of finish. It's just oh, it's just beautiful. They feel so nice. I feel like I need to hold them with a air of delicacy, I suppose, because they're just so exquisite. But I just love it. I love the design of the back. I love the sort of inlay style here. Just, oh, just a beautiful deck. I'm so proud to own it. Um, I've got a few. I've got a few decks that I really love. Uh, I've got a, a lot of decks I've never opened, so I don't know what, what I really think of them. I know that I've sort of been enticed in by the designs, but until I get around to reviewing them like this, they're currently unopened. So I'm going through a lot that are opened at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, just taken by these. I think they're a very, very beautiful deck. And uh, like I said, it's a bit biased, I suppose. I fell in love with these before I reviewed them. But um, I just wanted to share them with you guys. So uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time when we'll be uh, reviewing another deck from my collection. Take care.